Let's do some simple interest problems. Use the formula for simple interest, I equals PRT, to find the indicated quantity. First, let's write our formula I equals PRT. We're going to review here for a second. This is my interest. This is my principal. This is my rate. It's also our percent. And finally, T is the time. And the time is always based on one year. All right. Well, let's fill in what we know. They tell us that the interest is $63. We don't know the principal, so we're going to leave the P. Our rate is percent. Now, we always have to change the percent to a decimal. So here's 6%. I move two places to the left. So we end up with 0 0.06. And now we have nine months. Well, now, remember, it's based on a year. So we could do 9 divided by 12. If you want in your calculator, you could also do 9 twelfths as a fraction. Just depends on how you want to do it. Now we're going to multiply, so 63 equals P times 0 0.045. Now we want P by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by 0 0.045. And when we do that, we end up with P equals $1,400. And we're right. That's pretty neat. Let's look at the next one. Use the formula for simple interest and the given values. Find I. Once again, we're going to write our formula. I equals PRT. We don't know I, so we're going to leave that alone. The principal is $400. The rate, now remember we have to change it to a decimal. So 8%. I'm going to move two places to the left. So it's going to be 0. 08 and then it's uh, three years so we're just going to multiply by three because remember the time is based on three so let's multiply those and it looks like our interest is going to be 96 dollars cool let's look at the last one we have use the formula for simple interest i equals prt to find the indicated quantity assume a 360 day year Let's write out our formula again. I equals P R T. We know that I is 72. P is 2400. The um, rate we don't know, so we're going to leave the R there. And the time is 180 days. So we will take 180 divided by 360. Now, once again, remember, you could put this in your calculator as a fraction. It's totally up to you what you would like to do. Now, let's multiply. We have 72 equals 1,200R. All right. We're going to divide by 1,200 to get our rate. And we end up with R equals 0 0.06. Now remember, we have to change that from a decimal to a percent. So we're going to move two places to the right, so we're going to end up with 6%. Now that wasn't too bad, was it? Nope.